welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip video. I'll be continuing the series from the 2017 Rollout Tips and Tricks. Here we see that I have a route assembly and I've applied color to several of the components. However, looking at the drawing, we see that it's just black and white. So what I want to do is actually bring those colors into the drawing. As a bonus tip, if you weren't aware, under our appearance scenes decals, if I use an alt drag reading the notes, I can alt drag the color onto a component and directly go into the edit dialog. We'll apply red to this pipe and that looks good. So now we'll toggle back to the drawing and this is a document property. So again, we'll go back to our options, document properties and under detailing, we can see we do have the checkbox for use model color for hidden lines removed, hidden lines visible in drawings. By selecting that, clicking OK, we have now transferred the component colors into the drawing. This next tip is for model changes, especially when you're trying to find which dimensions on the drawing happen to change. So here's a little adapter plate. Now if we open its associated drawing, give you a heads up, what I'm going to do is change the overall thickness that one inch plus or minus four thousandths. Let me close this drawing back. In this case, it happens to be a system option. So again, we'll go to our options icon and under colors, towards the bottom, we have use specified color for change drawing dimensions on open. Notice on open. Once we accept that, let's go ahead now and make the desired change. In our case, we're going to go to one inch 500. With the help of a little instant 3D, we'll reopen the drawing now. And when that's finished rebuilding, we can see that the dimension is now in a highlight color. And as we hover over the dimension, we can see a tool tip with the original. I'm just going to reposition the dimension here, get zoomed back to sheet, another added bonus feature of past release, and save this up. Notice that the color is still in the highlight color. However, once I reopen that drawing, we see it is back in black as expected and ready for distribution. This final tip involves kind of drawing view efficiency. In this case, I've already saved a few drawing views, custom views. If I utilize the spacebar, the default shortcut key, I can bring up the orientation dialog and select the different saved views, callouts, jogs, and also the title block. Very quick, very convenient to go between multiple views. So let's add another one. I'm going to add another custom view for section AA. I like to either right click zoom to selection or even use the zoom to area. All you have to do is set how you'd like the view to be. Use that space bar. Finally new view. The name view dialog pops up. We'll add a name. Click OK and then test. As you can see we toggle right back to the drawing view. Make it very easy to navigate through that drawing. Keep in mind however that if you are using multiple sheets, this technique only works on specific location. It does not know between sheet one, sheet two, etc. So add some naming to the end of that to figure out which sheet. Thanks for joining us in another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip video. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.